Hello and uh, welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest CR Droid ROM. Well, when I mean latest, I mean to say that our beloved Poco M3 or Juke devices have received a new update from the CR Droid for Android 12. Yes, that is right. I don't need to introduce you to CR Droid, what CR Droid is and what uh, um, CR Droid is um, on about. So basically, if you are a custom ROM lover, definitely you have come across a situation where you have used this ROM because this ROM had been in the custom ROM market for very, very long time and it's considered to be one of the stablest ROM. That doesn't mean that I'm just uh, um, boasting up about CR Droid, but this is a very old ROM. So let's begin the review. So first, let's go to the um, android information page and see what all information we can get and as you can see this rom had been booted onto poco m3 citrus so basically you might be wondering which vendor i have used well the vendor that i've used is from frost project um well our friend frost he had made a vendor from a vendor extracted from eu um, ROM I believe it is 12.5.3 and I've used that particular vendor for boarding this ROM well um, you can get for more information from um, his uh, his telegram group or his channel I will make sure that I post the telegram group and the channel link in the description below and well before we start the review many thanks for the maintainer of the um, of the CR Droid ROM for bringing such a wonderful ROM for Poco M3 or Juice devices. As you can see from here, the Android version is 12, the CR Droid version is 8.2, and you can see that well, we are still in 5th of February 2022 security update, I believe. Um, the updates has been had been rolled out maybe um source has not yet been uh, refreshed or something like that i'm not sure i'm not just complaining just telling that we are still in february <laughs> nothing to worry about it and now the kernel that i've used is 4.1.1.9.227 uh, uh, well i do not know what is the default kernel but i thought that i will use fury prof kernel which i mean 227 is something that i prefer i believe 227 has more battery backup i don't know i'm just joking <laughs> but um it's something that i feel comfortable with so that's why i'm using this particular kernel so yes that is about the system information page well as you know that the rom is vanilla well you get all the standard aosp um dialers and stuff like that yeah here we are just dialed at geo just wanted to check if call goes or not well it does certainly do uh, do go i mean yeah it, there is no issue with the <laughs> with the calling stuff and stuff like that and believe it or not if you want to record uh, speaking to your girlfriend or i don't know speaking to your customer whatever that is you can easily do that because this aosp di dialer is equipped with the call recording function so that's an advantage isn't it i don't know <laughs> anyways right so um that's about the uh, dialer and even the messages up you will get the traditional um, messages up so that's it and even the camera it's that uh, normal camera that you're getting if you want you can try to install BS bsgg cam or even use the miui cam or anx cam from our friend Vern, and it's a very nice camera application you can certainly search the poco m3 updates channel or indonesian updates channel and find the link for it so that's about the overall look and overall settings and stuff like that and even the gallery it is the default aosb gallery that you are having so that's about the gallery and application side of the rom so let's go to the settings page well as you can see the settings page it keeps the stock user interface i wish if you if they have amended it into a different user interface or if they have made some changes to the user interface i'm not complaining but it's fine um well i'm not going through the uh, through each and individual functions because i believe we all are familiar with the android 12 rom and it doesn't make any sense going through the uh, functions and making the video one hour long and making you to watch <laughs> i mean majority of people they just want to see the customization part of the rom and stuff like that so 
the customization is here so your droid settings are i mean even this customization aids similar to all those versions that were available in the market i mean right from the android 9 it's the same customization that is available here i have not seen something that is being added extra onto the customization portion of cr droid well it stands by the status bar settings and if you want to uh, customize the status bar icons definitely you can do that clock style if you want to make it right left or hidden that's up to you if you don't want to see the clock and clock and date customization is here and if you want to enable the am or pm style if you want to um, enable the date style you can certainly do that from here you will get a network traffic indicator tool so basically you won't get much customization with the network traffic uh, monitor you will get just upload and download only normal stuff that you are going to get then if you want your um, signal style to be old definitely there is an option for that data disabled indicator roaming indicator combined signal bluetooth battery status and even you can enable customize the uh, wall light icon i believe the the 4g is not in my area so yeah i'm in a metropolitan city and the bloody 4g doesn't work here so what to do i'm just joking uh, if you want to enable or disable the stupid green dotted privacy indicator you can certainly do that and if you wish to see the colored status bar icon you can definitely do that 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 doesn't mean that in the quick settings panel the notification has colored icons just the colored status bar icons only and if you wish to see how many messages you have received in whatsapp or telegram there is a bloody uh, notification count thing and once you enable it it will show you how many notifications are pending with particular application on your status bar icon i would say if you are using colored status bar icon do not enable it, it just keeps on messing things up and battery styles here well you will get quite a lot of battery styles not quite a lot of battery styles but some battery styles you will get and you will get just as option like uh, tap to sleep brightness control and stuff like that okay fine so that's about the status bar section and second thing is quick settings well it starts with the clock date battery bar style all the normal stuff that you are getting if you want to see the auto i brightness icon on the um, quick settings quick settings definitely there is an option to enable and disable it apart from that there is nothing new if you want to arrange the brightness slider definitely you can do that by top or bottom wow okay so next one is lock screen and if you well just the normal stuff uh, normal stuff really nothing uh, nothing has changed or not, uh, nothing has been added but a, a handful of useful stuff that is what you are getting in lock screen uh, if you want to enable and disable your battery information while charging if you want to see how many amperes it's picking up for charging definitely there is an option for you uh, under the battery info and if you if somebody else is using your mobile phone and they are trying to unlock your phone with um, with their fingerprint well there is an option fingerprint error vibration to let them know that they are not the authorized person to do the job uh, so that's the thing that you are getting in the lock screen yeah so the navigation bar well the navigation bar it's just the basic stuff that you are getting so if you want to customize the layout of navigation bar definitely you can do that and yeah that's it the next one is power I mean buttons if you want to customize your power menu definitely you can have that by enabling the advanced restart and secured lock screen um, well secured lock screen means if somebody wants to reboot your device definitely they cannot do that because they need to enter the pin so yeah that's what secured lock screen uh, thing means uh, like well apart from that all the all other options are the normal ones and next one is user interface it starts with ambient display if you want to enable it well you can certainly do that but i don't i'm not a huge fan of ambient display so uh, and even i don't use that function um then full screen apps screen of animation then monet settings wow if you want to use custom colors for your user interface you can certainly do that from here 
enable the use custom color thing and you can um, input or you can put uh, whatever hex code you want like um, I don't know whatever color you prefer to uh, prefer to have then you will get a navigation bar style if you want to enable that I mean if you want to use um, the the three button navigation bar style definitely you can customize how you want it to look like then comes the icon pack yeah some icons are available filled rounded blah 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 then signal icon styles that's kind of useful Wi-Fi icon style and finally the icon shape then comes the notification part well notification part it's just the simple thing that is available here then sound just this thing, single it means simple thing if you want your volume panel to be on left instead of right yeah you can do that <laughs> then miscellaneous well if you are a gamer you will get a game space and if you want to unlock higher fps in games you can do that by this button i'm not sure if it is going to have 69 fps or i don't know what, what fps what improvement it is going to do and if you have a lot of photos in your storage and you want to expand your storage well you can do that by unlimited photo storage that's kind of good and if you want to enable swipe to screenshot definitely you can do that i mean yeah that's it and if you want to know further about the rom there is an option like about cr droid and you can see the current change log you can visit the official uh, website and if you want to see their github page definitely you can do that and you get a lot of uh, options to connect with the cr droid team and stuff like that so that's about the rom well apart from that all other things are the same for any vanilla row well um, you might be asking george what's what's your opinion whether i should flash this rom or not i would say you can flash the rom why not <laughs> have an experience it's all about experience it's all about you know flashing um, once you have unlocked your bootloader it's all about flashing custom roms um, getting different uh, experiences from different uh, roms the rom is overall stable and i do really love the rom it is smooth and if you're asking me whether this rom can be considered as a gaming rom i do not know because i don't play games and i don't think there is a rom that is made specifically for gaming purposes i mean you might need to change your device instead of asking for a gaming rom well what what about the battery backup i do not know i just flashed the rom so basically i do not know i cannot make any judgment so if you want to have a nice rom smooth rom stable rom with some with yeah customization definitely you can prefer to have cr droid onto your device once again many thanks for watching the video and um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you